Search MySQL.com. Select Next. Click on Downloads button. Then scroll down and click on MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Click on MySQL Community Server. Click on this now. Select first one and download it. Click on No Thanks, just start my download. Now open the file. Select Next. Again Next. Then Yes. Select Next. Then Yes. Then select Execute. These all will download. Now they all are downloaded. Select Next. Then Execute. They all will download also. Now they all are downloaded. Click on Next button. Select Next. Then again Next. Next again. Set the password now. Enter the password. Check it. Then Next. You will see this command. Then select Next. Then Execute. Select Finish. Click on Next. Select Finish. Then Next. Enter the password. Check it. Next. You will see this command. Select Next. Execute. Select Finish. Click on Next. Select Finish. Close this command prompt now. Welcome to the workbench. You can create new connection from here. Input connection name. Click on password. Enter password. Press OK. Test connection. Enter the password. Press OK. It's giving arrow because I already have same password. I will select the previous connection. Enter password. The query editor will appear. Pass the command create database work to. I wrote it wrong so erase table and write work to. It worked. Clear the query and write a new query of create table person info one bracket id int. First name Varchar, 254, comma. Last name Varchar, 254, comma. Address Varchar, 254, bracket close and add terminator. 254 is the length. Select the database then run. Successfully the table is created. Now clear the query and add new one. Inset in person info 1. Bracket ID. Comma first name. Comma last name. Comma address. Bracket close. Value bracket. One comma single inverted comma omer comma. Con comma Karachi bracket close. And terminator. Select the database and run this query. Now you can see the update in the table. We can add multiple informations. Now clear the query. Add a new query. 
right select then asterisk from person info 1. Select the database and then execute it. Now you can see the updated table.